www.thelifestyle.com. How are you doing today? We're continuing on our journey with As a Man Thinketh by James Allen. I was reading this to my son this afternoon while he was driving. I was a passenger. <laughs> your success, your failure, your influence, your whole life you carry about you. For your dominant trends of thought are the determining factors of your destiny. Send forth loving, stainless, and happy thoughts, and blessings will fall into your hands, and your table will be spread with a cloth of peace. Send forth hateful, impure, and unhappy thoughts, and curses will rain down upon you, and fear and unrest will wait upon your pillow. You are the unconditional maker of your fate. Be that fate what it may. Every moment you are sending forth from you the influences that will make or mar your life. Let your heart grow large and loving and unselfish, and great and lasting will be your influence and success. Again, such, such beautiful words, and, and, it, and it speaks so much to the power you know, that we hold within ourselves. You know, by virtue of our, our beliefs, our beliefs in ourselves. You know, how, how strong or how wavering is your belief in yourself? How much time and focus do you put into your thoughts each and every day? It's, I just can't, you know, express strongly enough the importance of recognizing how much power we have. Just within our minds, with just within the capacity and the capability to truly believe in ourselves. And if we can really establish that as a solid foundation of who we are, by having such great inner confidence, self-confidence, self-esteem, you know, pure and unrelenting belief in who we are and everything that's possible, I mean, the world is ours for the taking, as they say. We just can't even begin to realize all of the potential that we have for life ahead of us. You know, so how is, how is your day unfolding? How much faith have you had in yourself today? How much have you stayed true to your thoughts and the goals you're trying to achieve? How consistent and committed have you been to recognizing the things you'd like to accomplish in your lifetime? How much time have you spent today just really appreciating yourself, acknowledging yourself, you know, going into the day full of, of an open heart and, and feeling good not only about other people but primarily about yourself? You know, did you spend the day looking at what wasn't working in your day or did you spend the day looking at what was working? And if you caught yourself having moments of self doubt, were you able to, to, to capture and turn it around and, and master the thought of it and kind of decide so hard of it that, you know, it wasn't worth your energy to think negative thoughts? It's so critical for all of us to truly get a, a solid understanding, a solid grip of what we want to do.
Is it positive? Is it negative? Is it empowering you? Is it supporting your journey? Have a great afternoon. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Nancy Batty, PureVitaLifestyle.com. Love yourself first and save yourself